India. A diverse country with a rich heritage and myriad attractions, the country is among the most popular tourist destinations in the world which covers an area of 3,287,000 square kilometers. Extending from the snow-covered Himalayan heights in the north to the tropical rainforests of the south. And from the craggy western Ghats in the west to the rainiest places on earth in the east. As the seventh largest country in the world, India stands apart from the rest of Asia, marked off as it is by mountains and the sea, which give the country a distinct geographical entity. India offers a wide array of places to see and things to do. In such an enormous country with over 1.3 billion people, you might be wondering that in a place with such a large population will there be any untouched or unexplored places left. So pack your bags, as with Travelgram we are going to head to the most beautiful and unseen places in India that you wouldn't know ever existed. Let's hop in. Number 5. Havelock Island. This treasured island is situated 7 kilometers from the capital city Port Blair. The Havelock Island has become a spotlight destination for the Andaman tourism for almost more than a decade. The scenic island boasts some of the most well-defined points of attraction with a perfect mixture of tropical jungles and pristine white sand beaches. One of the most fascinating things about the Havelock Island is its lack of urban density. The island is sparsely populated. That ensures you get as close to nature as possible without having to see yet another town city which you probably are taking a break from. Narrow roadways surrounded by either dense tropical jungles with unique floras, or long strips of grassland covered with greenery of rice and paddies. United with a sudden jump of crystal clear open waters on either sides of the road, makes the Havelock Island one of the prime places to explore with a rental bike. Number 4. Tawang Valley. Situated at an altitude of 3,000 meters amidst the mighty Himalayas, Tawang is known for its picturesque landscapes, waterfalls and spiritual significance. The quaint hill station is also famous for its several Buddhist monasteries which see a massive influx of travelers throughout the year. The place is an ideal vacation spot for those who wish to take a break and get away from the hustle and bustle of city life. Most of the peace seekers visit here to meditate at the Taktsang Gampa, a pilgrimage site surrounded by mountains and coniferous trees. March to September remains the most preferred time to explore this beautiful hill station. The sixth Dalai Lama was born in this monastery. This monastery is a virtual treasure trove of Tibetan Buddhist culture. If you are in search of beautiful vistas and a bit of Buddhist culture, then Tawang is the place for you. Number 3. Danish Kodi. Flanked by the Indian Ocean on one side and the Bay of Bengal on the other, Danish Kodi was once a bustling and flourishing town. Thousands of people resided in this tiny town, known as one of the richest fishing belts in the country. Also, it was the only land border between Sri Lanka and India. On December 22, 1964, a massive cyclone swirled across Danish Kodi with winds gusting up to 170 miles per hour, and the entire town was in ruins and deserted in the aftermath. Just as it has stayed to this day. The town's remote location and tragic past lends it an eerie vibe, thus it is also often referred to as the ghost town. You can see the ruins of a temple, railway station, a church and homes of the then inhabitants. The journey itself is fascinating as you'll be traveling along a thin strip of land with sea on both sides. Number 2. Nubra Valley. This valley is the northernmost part of Jammu and Kashmir. Situated about 150 kilometers from Leh, Nubra Valley is known as the Orchard of Ladakh. Surrounded by snow-capped Himalayan ranges, Nubra Valley lies sandwiched between Tibet and Kashmir. A high-altitude cold desert, Nubra Valley is actually an extension of the Tibetan Plateau that starts in China and extends up to Ladakh. This valley in the plateau separates the Ladakh Range from the Karakoram Range. Tourists throng the cold desert to watch the sand dunes and for joyrides on the Bactrian camels. Native to the steppes of Central Asia, the Bactrian camel has two humps, in contrast to the single-humped camels found in Rajasthan and other parts of India. 
the Bactrian camels, found only in Hunder, were the main mode of transport when Ladakh was an important stopover on the ancient trade routes with Central Asia. The way to Nubra Valley passes through the mighty Karting La, the highest motorable road. This valley is accessible throughout the year. And number 1. Minikoi Island. The craze for Andamans has somehow let the breathtaking islands of Lakshadweep go unperceived for all these years. Not any longer. The compact union territory of India by the Lakative Sea is that the new rage among newlyweds. Words cannot do justice to the incredible size of the lagoon, one of the largest in Lakshadweep, the green of coconut trees, and the mirror-like surface of an inland lake as it nestles in one corner of the island. From breathtakingly lovely coral reefs to the gorgeous lagoons, from coconut groves to aesthetically organized beach huts, Minikoi incorporates a ton to supply. Scuba diving, snorkeling, parasailing, kayaking, water sports, deep sea fishing, sailing, glass bottom boat ride tours, and fishing, the place has you mesmerized completely. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more places like these, subscribe to our channel Travelgram, like and share this video, and also give us your suggestions in the comment box below. We will meet you all soon in our next video. Till then stay tuned. See y'all.